Frank, when you look back at the Princeton tape, was it what you expected? And then as you look at Wagner's first two games, what do you see their strengths as a team? Well, certainly, uh, no, there was no secret. I didn't need to see the uh, see the tape. I saw it firsthand, as everyone did, um, you know, during the game. And as I said, post game press conference, uh, you know, couldn't say much other than that we imploded. Uh, in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams, everything kind of let us down. But it still come down to, you know, the basics of fundamentals of football tackling uh, that we, we didn't tackle well. And to their kids' credit, he broke a lot of tackles. But we were at the point of attack and making hits and sometimes two hits and still not wrapping up and doing that. So that's a tackling issue. You know, I'm blocking is always <laughs> a little bit of an issue. You're not running the ball very well. But we're down to seven O linemen now because uh, – Connor Stottle is going to be out for about the next three weeks. So we're trying to certainly do what we can. Uh, but we're basically, it comes down to you're 0 3. Uh, we're banged up. We're disappointed, but we're not despondent or depressed. We're just disappointed. Uh, but we got a great group of young men that I have all the confidence in the world that we're going to keep battling and fighting to the bitter end. And uh, we're handling adversity. Uh, about as well as can be expected. And if adversity makes you stronger, then we're going to get real strong uh, somewhere down the road. We're hoping Parham will play, and that'll put him in Smalley, and that'll put Roberts back at safety, and then we got some options for the other spot. We've seen what Tyler can do in practice. Now he's a freshman. He took no reps with our offense last week, not one. He's on a scout O with Rajon Merriweather, and those two finished the game. So those two will be... Uh, West will start and Merriweather will play and, and Deuce will remain in that third spot as a third down. He can, you know, do so that's how we're doing it. I brought these guys because they're the most consistent play that we've had since we've been here. And and the guy in the far left, Schiff, everybody overlooks that. Do you know how important the snap is on punt and, and field goal and those things, snap, hold, kick, time, and it's perfect. And uh, Ryan Forrester has just come into his own. Uh, you, I don't worry about punting averages because it's deceiving. Where he's putting the ball and what he's doing for us is is phenomenal. It's the second time he's – these are also our two special teams captains of the week. I mean, for me, I would be kind of looking at it the same way every week. I mean, obviously, uh, like Coach Fine is always saying that he wants to try and keep me off the field as best as he can. Um, but, I mean, we just go in with the same attitude that if, if we have to go out there, you know, I just want to go out there and execute, just be really consistent and – you know, just really win the field position battle and give our defense, you know, a great, a great field position to work with and try and just pin them down there. So, Well, I mean, I guess for me, it's either a good thing or a bad thing. It could be a bad thing if you look at it as punting, but with Ryan, we can flip the field and we can pin them inside of the 20, or it can be a good thing if I go out for a PAT or a field goal where Bissell will knock it through nice and easy. But, I mean, one way or another, if I'm on the field, it's a double-edged sword kind of. The bottom line is we got to block better, we got to tackle better, but we got to make some plays. And that's the bottom line. And it doesn't matter how many people are hurt or whatever. The people that are in there got to get the job done. And that's how we're going to work this week.